Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we are going to study about the meter trees. So this is one, uh, one of the important topic uh, for class 12 physics in the chapter current electricity. So today in this video we are going to see the complete aspect of the meter trees. So the first question is what is meter trees? So meter trees is an electrical device which is used to measure the unknown resistance of any wire or any conductor. So what is meter bridge? So meter bridge, it is an electrical device which is used to measure the unknown resistance. Okay. Now next we will see what is the working principle of a meter bridge. So all the devices have their working principle. Every device, electrical device or mechanical device works on certain principle. So meter bridge also works on certain principle. Basically a meter bridge works on the principle of balanced condition of Wheatstone bridge. So the next is working principle. What is the working principle of a meter bridge? working principle so a meter bridge works on the principle of balanced condition of Wheatstone bridge balanced condition of Wheatstone bridge now we will see what is a Wheatstone bridge quickly we will see this is a separate topic Wheatstone bridge is a separate topic so a Wheatstone bridge is an electrical network having four arms Okay, all the arms are connected to each other like this you can see AB first arm, BC second arm, CD third arm and DA fourth arm. All the arms have certain resistance or some resistance. The resistance of arm AB is equal to R1. The resistance of arm BC is, is equal to R2. The resistance of arm CD is equal to R3. The resistance of arm DA it is equal to R4. So this is one electrical arrangement and just opposite these two opposite nodes between these two opposite nodes one cell is connected like this you can see one switch you can connect to make it on and off and one cell is connected and between remaining two nodes one galvanometer is connected this is your galvanometer and the resistance of galvanometer suppose it is equal to Rg. So this arrangement is known as Wetterstone bridge. Now what is balance condition? or when this Wheatstone bridge will be balanced. So when this galvanometer will show the null deflection, means there is no any deflection in this galvanometer. Galvanometer uh, has a pointer because it is also an electric device. So there is a pointer when current is flowing in this arm BD, then this galvanometer will show the deflection. If there is no any current, this galvanometer will show null deflection. So when this galvanometer will show the null deflection, that is when galvanometer current is equal to zero, then this Wheatstone bridge is balanced and when this Ig is equal to 0 then you will obtain the relationship between all these resistors R1, R2, R3 and R4 the condition is R1 into R3 equals to R2 into R4 it means the product of resistance of opposite arms uh, the opposite arm of AB it is equal to CD and the opposite arm of BC it is equal to AD the product of resistances of opposite arms both will be same when Ig is equal to 0. I've just told you this is a separate topic in the same chapter current electricity of class 12. You can go through this topic then you will easily understand what is the balance condition. But for here for the time being you can remember this is the balance condition of Wheatstone bridge. The product of resistances of opposite arms it will be equal to uh, or it will be same. So this is your working principle of a Wheatstone bridge. Now next we will see the constructional details. When a manufacturer uh, manufacture a manu uh, manufacture a meter bridge, how he assembled the different components. So next part is the constructional part of the meter bridge. So next is construction. Construction. 
Okay. So a meter bridge consists of a wire because all the all the components are assembled on a wooden board. So this is your wire. You can name this wire AB. The length of the wire is equal to one meter or hundred centimeter. You can say this is your wire. Fine wire. AB is a wire. Okay. And this wire is made from the. Uh, it is this wire is made from a certain material. Okay. A special material you can say the material name is manganese. We will see later on. Now below this wire, one scale is there. Meter scale is there. This is your meter scale. You can see there is one meter scale. This is your meter scale. The length is equal to one meter. It will start from zero. 200 centimeter. Now there are two inverted L shaped copper strips. These are the copper strips. There are two copper strips are there. Inverted L shaped. Okay, and one copper strip is rectangular. These copper strips are white. Okay. Why? Because the resistance we know resistance of any wire or conductor is equal to rho L by A. Resistance is inversely proportional to cross-sectional area or surface area of the conductor. You can say through which the current is passing. So clearly you can see there resistance is inversely proportional to area. If you will keep these copper strips wide, then cross-sectional area the area will be more and the resistance will be less. If the resistance will be less, then in the formula of meter bridge. Meter bridge formula when you will measure the unknown resistance of a wire or any resistor, uh, there will be no any effect of the resistance of these copper strips. Okay, so these are the copper strips, and uh, there are knobs. This is your first knob. Okay, to which you will make the connections. These are the knobs. Okay, and this whole arrangement it is fixed over a wooden board. Or on a wooden board. This is your wooden board. This is your wooden board over which all these are assembled. This is your copper strip, and these copper strips are white. Okay. And one galvanometer is connected here. This galvanometer and this galvanometer is connected with a jockey chain. Okay. So what is a jockey? Jockey is nothing but it is a rod. Like this, it is a rod having sharp edge. This is the edge of the jockey is sharp, like a knife. Okay, so what is jockey? J is your jockey, and it is a rod having sharp edge. And this point, this jockey is movable over the wire A. Is this jockey J is free to move from end A? To end B of the wire. Okay, we will see when we will see how a meter bridge can measure the unknown resistance. Now, uh, between these two points, these two points, you can connect one resistance box, known resistance R B. Okay, R B is resistance box, and between these two points, you can connect one resistor, unknown resistor. Suppose its resistance is equal to R. And the resistance which is selected from the resistance box is equal to R. So basically, this will this resistance box will provide you the known resistance, and this is your unknown resistance to be measured or to be calculated. You know what the measurement unknown resistance measurement is nothing but it is a process of comparison of unknown quantity with known quantity of same kind. So basically, in order to measure this unknown resistance, you require a known resistor. So that's why we are connecting a resistance box. What is resistance box? Resistance box is nothing but it is a box containing multiple resistors, like a box that we are keeping at our home, and we are keeping the things there. When we need the things, we just take it out. Same thing is there. Resistance box is nothing but it is a box containing multiple resistances of known value. When you need some resistance, just you need to plug that. Okay, keys are there. 
just you take out the key suppose five ohm is written there and one key is there just you take out the key from there then five ohm of the resistance will be introduced in this circuit okay so this is the arrangement and in order to supply the current between these two points ad now we are connecting this key k and uh, this cell this cell is known as driver cell because it is driving the current driver cell and k is your key so this is the constructional part of the uh, meter base you can see what are the arrangement one wire kv of uh, one meter it is made from the special you know uh, special material manganese just below the wire we have one uh, scale middle scale then these are the copper strips two inverted l shaped copper strip one rectangular copper strip key driver cell wooden board and uh, these are this the, this resistance box and non resistance and driver cell they are externally connected and rest of the things they are internally connected galvanometer you can connect externally but basically this copper strip all these copper strips scale wire okay all are just assembled over this wooden board now we will see the working now first we will see the construction did it what is the first we have one wire okay a wire of length 100 cm or 1 meter it is made from manganese it is one alloy m a n g m a n e manganese okay the value of alpha for manganese is very low alpha means temperature coefficient of resistance we know the variation of resistance of conductor with temperature according to this formula just you see the formula rt is equal to r not into 1 plus alpha into t minus t not T minus T naught. It is giving you the change in temperature multiplied with alpha. Alpha is a constant. So for different material, the value of alpha is different. For manganese, the value of alpha is very very low. Very very low. Then change in resistance due to this change in temperature. Alpha is very very low. So very low value multiplied with change in temperature. The value will be again very very low if the value of alpha is low. And if very low value of alpha is there, then there will be very less change in the resistance of the wire with the change in temperature because when we will perform the experiment when you will close the switch the current will be set up in this uh, electrical device and due to the heating effect of current we know the heating effect of current due to the heating effect of the current the temperature of this wire will increase ab wire okay due to the heating effect and if there will be increase in temperature its resistance will increase if there will be increase in the resistance Then again in the meter base formula, when we will measure this uh, unknown resistance, then what will be uh, what will happen there? We are not able to calculate the exact, okay, or true value of this value x. So the value of alpha is very very low for this manganese. That's why we are using the wire AB made from manganese. Number two is meter scale. You can see just below the wire, meter scale. Third. Two uh, inverted L set copper and one rectangular and one rectangular copper strip. Okay. Fourth, a galvanometer. And a jockey, and next we have a cell with a key. So this is the constructional part of a meter base. Now next we are going to see how this meter base can be used to measure this unknown resistance x. I just have told you this position can be interchanged. Okay. After making the connection, okay. After making this connection. first we will check whether our circuit is correct or not so in order to check whether our connection is proper or not first we will close the switch k and we will keep this jockey at end a of the wire when you will keep this jockey at end a of the wire this galvanometer galvanometer is a device which detect the current there is a pointer the galvanometer uh, the pointer of this galvanometer will show a deflection in one side and when we will Uh, bring this jockey to end B 